Hello everyone, welcome back once again to 15th Dimension. Today I'm back with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be trying to show you guys exactly how to DS your vocals fast, easy, and free. Now what is DSing and why do I need it? You may be wondering. Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. Depending on how a vocal track is recorded and the particular singer that's involved, many S and T sounds can really stand out in comparison to the rest of the vocal recording and in extreme cases you can actually be pretty painful so DSing is basically just a way to reduce the harshness of those sibilants or S and T sounds and uh, just make them more pleasing to the ear now what I've done is I well much to my embarrassment I actually have a well, vocal recording of myself just to demonstrate this uh, this occurrence, this phenomenon, I guess you could say. I've taken an EQ and I boosted some of the high end just so you can hear what I'm talking about more clearly. This is actually from a, uh, a previous song I released. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to play this. Have a listen. Be sure to listen out for the S and T sounds. There aren't actually any T sounds. Forget that. Just listen for the S sounds. So why don't you see? You're the only one who can set me free. All right. So, yeah, that's fairly clear in the why don't you or so why don't you see? You know, th those S's just really, really stand out. We, we don't want that. So, there's a lot of different ways to fix this. What I'm going to be doing is going to be taking a free plugin you can get called Spitfish. It's actually part of a uh, three plugin pack, like fish fillets or something. I, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'll be sure to put a link in the description when I go look that up. But uh, it's fairly old. Copyright 2002, but it still works just fine, and it's actually uh, one of the best free DSing plugins I've found. Now, the way this works is you've got your sense, your depth, your tune, and all that other stuff, which we're not going to worry about right now. Basically, the sense is how sensitive it is to the S sounds. Basically, it waits till it detects an S sound, and then it compresses it, by however much you set the depth to base, sort of just reduce it, reduce the harshness. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is click this here listen button. And what this will do is it'll let us hear only the S sounds and help us identify the frequency we want to get rid of. So bring the sense up just to anywhere from like here. And then go ahead and hit play and listen to your vocal track. Alright, so it's pretty clear that my uh, S sound is uh, there. What you can do is you can actually tune the frequency and find where it's the worst. So if I bring it all the way up to 12K, we can have another listen. And I actually think it was worse around 8K. So let's, yeah, do another. Yeah, it's definitely worse. This is going to vary depending on the singer and the recording, just like anything would. So find the most distasteful frequency, and then try and tweak your sense so that you're not getting any of the other parts of the recording. You just want to get the S sounds. So I'm going to bring that sense down just a little bit. All right, that's pretty good. It, it could be uh, a little lower, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now, once we've identified our frequency and tweaked our sense to pretty much only pick up that, then we can start playing around with the depth. And what the depth will do, like I mentioned before, is it's just going to compress it and make it more pleasing to the ear. and Basically, just kind of lower the volume. Uh, I'm going to put it all the way up so you can hear what it does. And then I'm going to bring it back down to a more tasteful setting. First of all, 
want to uncheck the listen button. That's pretty important. So why don't you see? You're the only one who can set me. So yeah, you can hear it very clearly. It's kicking in on those S sounds and it's just softening it up. So I'm going to bring that down. So why don't you see? Maybe a so little bit more. So why don't you see? So yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's do a quick before and after. Bypass. So why don't you see? And then with. So why don't you see? Much better. So obviously it's going to vary per vocal. You just have to find the right settings for that particular recording. Uh, DSing is a pretty common problem. In fact, I don't ever... Like, I don't think I've ever had a time where I completely didn't add any DSing at all. It's just that that useful. I mean, sometimes it can be subtle. Other times it can make a big difference. But, uh, yeah, I think that about wraps up this tutorial. So, if you enjoyed it and uh, you liked it, I would encourage you to leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more then you can go ahead and give me a subscribe over at that subscribe button wherever it locates it changes as time passes so depending on which decade you're in it's probably somewhere over. it could be like over on this side of the screen or whatever um but yeah and i'll see you guys in the next video